Hey guys, it's Duck. Today, we are going to be continuing the series for the PvP shooting range tutorial. So, today we're going to try to finish it. I don't know if we will be able to finish it, but let's just say we're going to try for now. So, hopefully we can. So, to start off this, this tutorial, we will need to get the following materials. If my inventory will load. Yep, there we go. And we need stone bricks, mossy stone bricks, cracked stone bricks, smooth stone slab, vines, torches, ice. And also, we will need some stone brick slab and stone brick stairs. Also, there's a target on top, but we'll do that after we finish this part. So, to start off, you want to do this. Put one from the path there, three over on the left, and then two over on the right with a stone slab in the corner. So this should have one stone slab there, and then six more stone bricks. And we'll just line it out for now. So one, two, three. So it needs to go over seven stone bricks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. After that, it needs to go over seven stone bricks again. So it's basically a really basic, basic thing at the bottom. So. Now we can just change out all the floor for your stone brick. Alright, now we just change it. Also guys, if you're being if you hear background noises through these tutorials, it is the birds in the background. And they're really annoying sometimes. Alright, let's begin doing the this front wall. So you want to have three on this side, two on this side with a cracked stone brick. Next row, we in this side we need a stone brick slab. Then three, then three stone bricks, and two at this side. But and we need a moss stone in the middle. So this now two stone bricks, cracked stone brick, stone brick, stone brick stairs like this. And then two stone bricks. All right. Next row. Stone brick slab needs to go here. Then a stone brick. Then cracked stone brick. Then four stone bricks. Next row, we need three stone bricks, ice, and another three stone bricks. Next row, we need mossy stone bricks, two stone bricks, another ice, and three stone bricks. Next row, cracked stone bricks, stone bricks, free ice, and two stone bricks. Next row, free stone bricks, ice, free stone bricks. Next row, stone bricks with a torch in front, on the front of it, and two upside down stairs, and free stone bricks, and then one stone brick with a torch on it. Next row, a half slab, then five stone bricks, and a half slab. Next row, stone brick slab, three stone bricks, and a stone brick slab. And now the final row for the front, a stone brick slab in the very middle. So guys, that is the front wall completed, uh, without the vines, but we'll do put all the vines on later. So now let's begin the other side. So, now this, this we're going to do the left side first, and it's... So this side, we just need to fill the next row in with stone bricks, and another row. Let's see how many rows. Let's do. Can we fill in another row of just stone bricks? Yes, another row with just stone bricks. And then just there's a slab in the corner we've already got, but now the rest should be stone bricks. Then go then. 
up the next level, so it should be all stone bricks. Then the next level, it should all be stone bricks again, except for that one corner that we've already got. Now, the next row, it should all be stone bricks except for the crack one we have up there. Next row, all stone bricks. Okay, next row is also all stone bricks. So basically, the whole wall is all stone bricks. Yep, then the next row is all stone bricks. Now, we need to, let's do the roof. So, we drag this, drag this and drag this just like that all right next we're going to do the back wall and it's not as easy because there's stuff everywhere so the first row of stone bricks now the second row second row we need two stone slabs then the rest need to be stone bricks third row we need it to be all stone bricks fourth row we need to have we need to place three stone bricks then a stair then two, two more stone bricks to get it into the corner next row it needs to be all stone bricks next row it needs to be all stone bricks then the next row after this actually has a crack stone brick on it. So put four with one there and then one more to get into the corner. Next row, we need the stone slab in the corner and the rest can be just filled in with stone brick. Then the next row, four stone bricks, a stone stair, and stone brick. Next row, fill it all in with stone bricks. Okay. Then, next row, we need to have a block of stone, smooth stone slabs there. Now we need to continue the row over with stone bricks. Then, we need to have stone brick slab and two more stone bricks. Now we can just drag the roof down. Alright, there we go. Now this side to finish it. Um... We need a we need a full block of stone bricks, stone slabs there. Uh huh. And now let's fill that row in. Now we can do this side, which is also very easy, I believe. Yep. Let's so fill the remainder of this row in with stone bricks. Then the this remainder should be stone bricks. Let's just see how much. Alright guys, so this whole ball would just fill up with stone bricks. Yep. Yep. I guess that was easier than doing all the rows, because the whole wall is stone bricks. So now we got the church building. So now we need to just, of course, do it. In we'll do the inside. And in no, actually let's do the vines first. So to do the vines. We need to put a vine up there and drag it down. So that's the first vine. Then one below the torch. And we'll have to wait for that one to go out soon because it's on a slab. Or we can just do this. We can ex we can temporarily take it out for a different block. Then put it back. Okay. Now this side, we need vines down from here. This side, just drag them all the way up until that's there. Now, these sides, all the way up here, and not on this side, okay. Yep, just drag it down, of course. You can wait for them to grow in your world, but I'm just going to drag them down so it's easier to explain what they need to look like. Now down from here, we just need it up to the shop. Now on the back wall, I'll show you the top of each one. So the top is right here, two right there, and two right there. And once again, we're gonna have to wait for that one to grow, or we can we can just change it for a different block temporary. So I'll just put it down. 
or we can um, just do this. I don't know if this will work, but slash set lock through my six or seven, negative seven, four, nine. No, it doesn't work. Um, yeah, that doesn't work. So now we can just, let's just do this technique. That works. Okay. Now we need to put vines up here until the slop. And once again, this is going to have to become a different block for a second. Alright, now only one more side to do. Okay, now we can of course drag this, we can, except there's one block of vine that's missing for the UFO, but I'm not going to show that until we do the UFO, which will be probably this part. I'm not sure, however, what we're exactly going to do. So it needs to be set up. Okay. Now the rest of the vines. Okay. This is going to be a hard one. So it does need to go down in here. We can just, I guess. I do that again. And yes, there we go. That fixes it. And just drag it up to there. So guys, those are all the vines. Next, we'll do the inside. It's pretty easy to do in the inside. And guys, there's also a mossy stone I don't think we got. There's a moss stone right there. And there needs to be two torches on the side of it. And over here on this side, it needs to be like that. Now, we need to get our stone. Put them up like this. Get your iron bars out. Now, drag this around. Okay. Now, if we look up, we need to do this. We need to do this design. So, two rows there and then this row needs to be filled in all right that's the roof let's just make sure it's at the right height yes all right so that's what the inside should look like and now that we've done that we can clear our inventory uh -huh, and get oak wood stairs redstone lamp oak, bu oak button lever and carved pumpkin and go up to the top right here then just do our targets because there is a target up there so guys, that is the church complete. Next, we can, let's, what should we do? Should we do the terrain? Yes, let's do the terrain next. But first I wanna mark out where the, where it, the, the igloo, the UFO goes, bro. Um, let's just see, uh, one, two, three. Okay, so over here, we need to go over four. Well, yeah, and then on the fifth block, so one, two, three, four, and fifth, it should be right there. That's the first block for it. Now let's begin the terrain, and we can do the minecart after. So just get your grass out. We can get our dirt out as well, because I want it to be grooved to grass very fast so i'm just gonna of course do it like this then so basically you need to do this then go down like this down like this then we need to do this go down like that like a staircase now we can do one at the same level one out there now one like that now just like this okay then we need to go here with two out with like this and then it needs to go up two just like that now let's do this part over here so we need to go down four over this side Alright, now one down there. 
one up here and there. So then there needs to be one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. So that's five there. But, okay, let's just look at this. So we will need to get rid of that. And then these five blocks, they will need to be turned into nether, nether rack. Um, now we need to get flint and steel. Let's light them on fire. And guys, you want to go into your settings here. And make sure your fire spreads is off. So to do it, you need to go to um, you need to go to game. And it needs to go down here, and it should say friendly fire, and fire shirt should be off. So make sure that's off. And if it is, that's great. If you want to keep it on, however, go ahead. But, yeah. Okay, so. Let's just go down here. Like this. Now. Okay with one there and two down there like that just like that now this side we need to go down like this like that now down like this with one there then go one up here remove this block and this block yeah, guys, sorry if it's confusing, but it's terrain, so it's going to be confusing. Yeah. So now go down here. Now we can do this terrain. So it should be for two here. And it should go down like this and this. But we need to go out here. And it needs to go out to two. Okay, now this is out two. We need to go up here and put a block up there. With two right there. One, two up there. And grass there. Two down there. Now this needs to go down. So you need to go down, let's see where the hole actually goes. So it needs to go down here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you need to count from this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now you need to go get your nether rack again. Go down here. And let's just count one more time. So that one, that's where then it should go. One, two, one, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Now we can just take all of this out for dirt. Yes. Awesome. So now we need to just change all the sand out for dirt. Okay. So now it seems like we're done for the inside. Now we just need to see what it looks like on the outside. So if we go out here, this is what we should have so far. Now let's do this. So like this. And we also need to just change this out. So like that. What needs to actually go up to like this. And one and Okay. So that's what we got so far. Now let's continue going back here. So it should be three, one, one back, and then one out, and then one right there. Okay. Now we need to go up like this, and then one there, then one, one, and we should be right up against the thing. So now we can just drag it back and then fill in this piece of terrain. Alright, 
So now we need to do the this piece that goes up it needs to go out three here with one block right there. Now we need to put one block there. Now we need a target. So we've already got the target blocks. Let's put one there. We already know how to do it. And did we forget the nose? Yes. We forgot the nose on that one up there. So and all the ones over here. So guys, we need to put the nose on. We forgot I forgot to show you to put the nose on. So we need to put the nose on all of these. I can't believe I forgot that. Okay, now that is in its place. And there is a block right there, so yes. And it should, in Stampy's world, it should be dirt under there, I believe. Okay, that looks excellent. Alright guys, now we're going to do the, do the UFO, it's, and it's kind of hard. So let's just get out our diamond blocks so we can, so it needs to go up two, then three, then four. Like, then that fourth one should be this. So it should go out, it should go out two diagonals over on the fourth one. Then it needs to be three, one more diagonal for, and then three on it. Then one diagonal. Then one, two, three. One diagonal again. Then one, two, three. So one, two, three. So one, and then two diagonals. So there we go. That's the diagonals. Now we can just uh, not, don't, actually, yeah, fill the bottom in with, with um, gray wool. Light gray wool. Yep. Just like this. Now we'll do the glowstones. There's weird glowstone. There's one right there. And one there, but there's not one over there. And then there should be two at the side. So yeah, that's the ground level. <sighs> yep, and it's pretty hard to look at. So there also should be glowstone there. But there's not one over there. Because it would look normal, but there's not one over there. So yeah, make sure that you got so this one, so go over with one, two, three, four, over there. Now we can just, this side should be nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then this side also should be nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's basically a square. And it does need to be nine on this side as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. So now we just need to continue over four. And then let's fill in these three blocks of gaps right here. Awesome. Now we'll do the next layer. So basically, we just expanded it one block. And there should also be a corner there. So, yeah, that's what you want to do this next row and there should be redstone torches on this next row okay this one should be open so the redstone torches let's just get the redstone torches out and after we do this one row this next row so there's one there and there's one two three then this yeah if we have to if you put in these corners already you can just drag it around here basically all right okay now we'll do the redstone torches so there's one here 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 and here now there's also one here here and it should be like down like this okay next side and there and one two, three four five one also guys i don't i'm not 100 okay those that's where divine is i'm not 100 sure 
about the redstone torches, but I will update you on them once I get, if I, if they are wrong, I will correct them later. So that's that right now. I'm sure these back ones are, I've got wrong, but I'm not sure. So, yeah. So there should be like this, uh, for the two there, and then over there like just like this and now there should be one in the corner here 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 now we need to go like this and guys there's something that really scares me in this lair there has to be one placed right there now we need to just go up like that and that's the outside of the UFO now let's do the inside of the UFO. And there's also a target on the stairs to the UFO, so we'll do that. So now you want to get out your stone brick slab. One there. And we need our levers. We have three levers there. With two resin torches there. Now buttons. They need to go. Wait. Let's see, let's just take a look at this quickly. Okay guys, we need to, we don't do that. So we need to do a table for everything. So this, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one. Basically just do that. So now we will also need our original repeaters. So now let's do it. One there, do like this. And like that. Then there should be three buttons up there, three buttons up there, three buttons on this side, but one up there. Now there needs to be two levers there with two redstone, with three redstone repeaters, it looks. What? There should be three levers, actually. There needs to be two levers over here with two redstone repeaters. And over on this side, we need redstone torch, lever, and on the other side, there is nothing. So guys, that is what the inside of the UFO looks like. So now we're going to get all the, we're going to clear our inventory, get the materials for the target on this front, and the wool color is magenta. And it also will need a jack-o'-lantern. So get your jack-o'-lantern, also get your magenta wool. So now, just go over here, put one there, one up there, one there, one there, one there. And the nose, uh, this button right there, and two levers right there. So guys, let's do the, now the last thing we need to do in the shooting range is the rails around here. So get your rail your powered rail, your redstone torch, and also your minecart with chest, and also get a few grass blocks ready. Okay, so now let's start. There needs to be a power rail here, and two up here, two rails there, two rails over there, and then three, and then over like that. Now there should be two out on this side, one there, two, like two like this, and now just drag it up. Now under all these places we can just put our power our um, red stone torch okay now we need to just get our minecart go around here and there we go that target is done so guys so, no we didn't do the minecart over here yet so Minecart needs on this rail just needs to go over there. Okay. So guys, look at what we just done. Look at. I think that's everything. No, no, no. There's not. That's not everything. Um, um. There's still another target on top of the UFO. So it needs to have a jack o' lantern. We've already got the materials for it. Just get our wooden button back out. And people. So guys, we need to just do this one target really fast, and it needs to go up right here, 
one there, one button there, one like this, then it's antennas, then pink hole there, and guys, with that, that appears to be the pew pew shooting range completed. So, yeah. Yeah, guys. So that is actually going to be the end of this tutorial. And next tutorial, I will be doing Sharky Shark over here. So, yeah. Stay tuned for that, which will be probably be coming tomorrow. So try to do one video a day for this series, two videos a day, I don't know. Maybe even up to three tutorials a day. Okay, guys, so this will be the PvP shooting range tutorial finished. And, guys, goodbye.